And there you are. Okay. There you have it, folks. Now, in the next half of this lesson, we're going to really get to work on creating a, um, a um, path and then a selection outline of this. I think it's a Prius, okay? Okay, folks, while I was on break, I went ahead and deleted that uh, leaf that we were working on earlier. You can see the paths palette is empty now. It leaves us to work on this Toyota Prius unencumbered. Okay, so let's draw a mask with the pen tool. Let me zoom in a little bit more, and let me grab the pen tool here. And this time when I lay down my first point, I'm not going to just click. I'm going to click and drag because I want to start out with a smooth point. And the reason for that is I'm drawing on a curve right now, so I need to start out with a smooth point. So let's click and drag a little bit like that, right along the curve. You can see we started a new work path here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. All right, let me click and drag from right here. And let's go ahead and fix this right now. Easy to do. Now let's continue. Let's go all the way down here and click and drag. You want you really want the least amount of points um, possible, folks, to make your path the least complicated that it needs to be. Let me zoom in. And I'm not sure. Oh, it's hard to tell exactly where the car is right here, isn't it? I think that's the bumper right there. Okay. So let's do that. Now I want to alt-click right here. When you're drawing masks for cars, you're going to find yourself alt-clicking a lot, folks. Tell you what, I'm going to add a point right here while I'm at it. And move it down here a little bit. Okay, let me reactivate this point. I want to get rid of this control handle now because I'm changing directions. So let's alt click on that point. And uh, <laughs> it's hard to see, but I, I think uh, this bumper comes out a little bit like that. And then uh, comes down here maybe like this. Okay, and then maybe something like this. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine here. This, there's no contrast here. But we're just going to do the best that we can. Clicking and dragging, folks. Clicking and dragging. Okay. Now, things get a little bit tricky. I'm going to click here. Okay. I'm going to hold down my mount. Let me zoom out a little bit and pan up. <coughs> Make this a little bit easier. I'm going to click here. But not just click, and not just click and drag either, because I want a control handle, but I don't want a control handle in both directions. So I'm going to click, hold down the Alt key, and drag out a single control handle this way. That's probably a little bit too much. Let me get rid of that and show you what would have happened if I'd have just clicked and dragged. Okay, I'm throwing that curve up to the north there, and I don't want to do that. Okay, I want to influence the curve only down here to go around this tire. Control Z. So. Let's do that again. Click, Alt key, and drag. You know, if you hold down the Shift key, it'll constrain that to the exact vertical or horizontal. All right, just to let you know. And now, we're going to see if I can get away with just two points for this tire. Let's see. Can he do it? Uh, <coughs> maybe. Maybe he can. Let me get the control key and move this one a little bit. That looks good enough. Okay, I'm going to all click here because I'm going to change directions. Okay, I'm going to click and drag just a little bit here. Click and drag a little bit here. Just a slight curve to the underside of this car. To this, is that a rocker panel? Click, click and drag. And alt click again. <coughs> Now, same same drill here. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult because there's some perspective on this tire and there's a more of a flat spot here. Let's see, let's see how we can do here. Click, Alt, drag. We're going to need to influence it this way a bit. And click and drag. Uh-huh. 
get the um, white arrow tool with the control key and uh, yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna have to add a point folks so that's not a problem let's click here and then get the uh, white arrow tool and drag I think that's uh, good enough click back on here to activate that anchor point and oops control Z see what happened we want to turn this into a corner point outbound so alt click and then continue to march click and drag Sometimes I click, sometimes I click and drag. Depends on what's going on in the image. Okay, I'm going to hold down the Alt key here and move just that control handle. See what I did there? Adjusting as we go, folks. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oops. I'm going to just cut off that antenna. All right, and here's the final point right here. You can see the little O next to the pen tool. That means we're going to close the path. And there you go. You can see that it made a smooth point because when we started this, I, as you recall, clicked and dragged so that's why that is like that now you can um, scroll around and adjust your path any way you want I think this is pretty good though mm-hmm that looks fine to me let me zoom out and that's it there's our path now we're going to turn it into a selection outline and move it into another image. And we're going to do that in part three, folks. See you back here in just a few. Okay, folks, back at it. Now, after we finish drawing this nice path here, first thing we want to do is save it. Okay, we want to save this work path. That way we can come back to it at any time in the future and adjust it. So go to this flyout menu right here and select Save Path. We're going to name it Car. And that's it. Okay, it is saved. Now let's turn it into a selection outline. All right, with it selected, fly out menu again, make selection. It's going to ask us if we want to feather it at all. Let's not. We're going to uh, talk about feathering in uh, another lesson when we learn about the refine edge command. There, now you can see it. We'll leave it anti alias though, okay? and click on OK and there's our selection but not quite. This is the inverse actually of our selection. Easy to fix. Go to the select menu and say inverse. Okay, Now we have the car selected. Now we want to move this car, the selection of this car, into another image. First what we're going to do though is put that on its own layer and to do that hit hit uh, control J hit control J there I didn't have the background layer selected didn't know what to jump from okay so now there's our Toyota Prius nicely masked out and we can move that into this image right here okay just get the move tool grab it Move it up to here and back down to here. And there you go, folks. Now there's a lot more we can do with it. And we will. We will. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I haven't, I haven't worked it out that far. But you can see where we're going with it.